The city of Covington is not holding back how it feels when it comes to the way the state is handling public pensions. It says it's the biggest threat to the economic revitalization of our cities. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us why it says it can't afford the required payments and why it could mean drastic cuts in the future. The Covington City Commission is asking Governor Andy Bashir and the General Assembly to investigate the current pension payment system, find out if there's a way to give cities across Kentucky relief from what the commission says are unaffordable changes to the system. Covington City Manager David Johnson says the city has a looming budget crisis. The climate for quality of life and investment are going to go down because we can't provide public safety services. We can't provide park services, swimming pools, all those things that people have come to expect out of their local government. Because of Kentucky's pension shortfall, cities have been ordered to pay up to 12% more, compounding annually into the fund each year. The first year, Covington had to pony up another $750,000. Last year, that number was up to 880000 and this year, it's an additional $1.1 million. That will keep increasing year after year for the next several years. The thing is, there's no additional money coming into the city to offset that cost. When you take that money out of a limited pot of your general fund, that means there's less money to provide for fundamental services in the community, like public safety, like potholes and street repair. Johnston and the city commission wants the state to freeze the increases on cities until the pension system can be studied and a new path forward that cities can afford be created. If this continues, it's not going to just create a static level of service to meet those financial demands for a pension obligation. We're going to have to uh, possibly lay off people, cut services. I have been in touch with Governor Bashir's office, but have not received a response. In Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. It's not just Covington, all cities in northern Kentucky and across the state are facing this exact issue. Newport isn't able to hire any new firefighters because of the money it must pay into the pension.